It is really incredible how big of an effect people who are more senior than you can have on your day to day and the things that you learn and how quickly it work. So today, and honestly, this entire past week or two, I've been working on a design doc at work. And for people who aren't familiar with design docs, it's basically when you propose new changes that you need in your system and sort of how you should go about building that thing. There might be three different ways that you propose. Maybe your first way that you propose is preferred and you're doing the due diligence for why this is the way you should build the thing going forward. And then you need to get consensus. You need to get people on your team normally or maybe people who are more senior than you to actually align with what your approach is for building it so that everyone is on board with how you propose to build the thing ahead of time so that when you do build it, there are no questions. So it's a way to get everyone on board ahead of time. And so a lot of work for design docs involve research. It involves reading code. It involves reading other design docs to understand how parts of your system work if you're in a very big environment normally. And so I was looking for some guidance with my design doc. And so I had an ad hoc meeting with a staff engineer and it is mind blowing to me how important and how big of a difference a simple random one-on-one -on -one ad hoc meeting like that can be and how big of a difference and how much it can teach someone. Uh, and it really made me want to talk about it because I'm still in disbelief just how quickly I can learn things from other people who have more experience than me and people who, have, who are more senior than me. And so it really makes me want to encourage people who are senior or have more experience than anyone else to do their best to take time and discuss things with those people. And so during this 30 minute meeting, it was honestly just incredible. We were trying to come up with a solution for this problem. And I knew that this person knew how to do exactly what I was trying to do. But instead, what they tried to do was prompt me to think about different things and give me sort of a roadmap for how we can arrive at a solution eventually that will be good and that will drive consensus with my other peers, basically, and other coworkers and teammates. And so Throughout the whole meeting, they weren't giving me answers. They were basically asking me questions. How does this part of the system work? Where does this bit come from the back end? What does this bit do or this data do on the front end? What is passed in this request to this server? And it was really helpful for me to think, do I know this information? And if I don't, maybe I should. And if I don't know it, how can I figure it out? And again, it was, it was just so kind of this person because again, I know this person is not doing it for them. This person is doing it so that I can learn. And it was such a teaching moment for me or really a learning moment for me. And I'm sure they've had countless, literally countless moments like this where they've been able to teach other people and mentor other people uh, in this way. But it was it's just mind blowing to me and it's really, really helpful. And it made me think how important it is to, you know, try my best to do this for other people, whether it's now or whether it's in 10 years when I have even more experience, but it's so crucial to just take time and talk to people who need help um, and really bring other people up on your team. I feel like this person specifically meets with tons of people and mentors tons of people and so many people, really everyone on my team looks to this person for guidance and I want to be someone like that. And even now, right, I'm sure that there's it's all relative, I guess, really, but there are people who I think I could help now because the truth is two years ago, I was in their shoes, right? And now I'm two years ahead of maybe where they might be. Um, and there's always someone I think who you can learn from and help teach to. And so I just, I think it was a really cool experience and it made me really think that I just want to be able to do this for other people. And I'm going to do my best to have more meetings like that. I think it's incredible how fast you can learn things, right? Like this person has so much more experience than me and they've been where I have and then some. Uh, so it's just really cool. It's really cool. It, it was like, honestly, one of the best meetings I've had in a long time. And again, it was so selfless. It was all them trying to help me learn. It was all them prompting me to think about things certain ways and teaching me really like different ways that we could design stuff and things to think about generally speaking or holistically speaking when you are designing things. So I don't know. It just meant a lot to me. I really loved it. And it made me think so much of the importance of trying to have more of those meetings for my own growth and for your growth, hopefully, and for turning around and trying to do that for someone who, you know, might be looking up to you or someone who you might have more seniority to or experience that. So that's just a really quick ramble of like a super cool meeting and learning experience that I had today. And yeah, I hope you guys get something from it.